speak today to Dr. Kara Levander Law. Kara is a research professor at the C Education Association at Woods Hole, Massachusetts. And I'm going to ask her what she thinks the future of the oceans might look like in a post COVID world. This is a question of time scale. So the oceans operate on a very long time scale, they have a very long memory. And so how long will the coronavirus last? And the impacts on the ocean are both in the short term and in the long term. So today, I, my focus of my research is uh, plastics in the ocean, ocean pollution. And I know there is a lot of concern about the use of single use plastics in personal protective equipment, which of course we all know are essential to prevent the spread of coronavirus, but we're generating a tremendous amount of plastic waste. And there is real concern that this is going to enter the environment and exacerbate a problem that we already know exists. The flip side of that, of course, is we're not going anywhere. And so I think we're probably using less materials than we might in a normal situation. We're not traveling the same amount. Um, Thinking about the short term also, we think about fisheries. Fisheries are, have a tremendous impact on the ocean. We're taking um, proteins to, to feed the planet. And if you look at the economic impacts of the coronavirus, uh, the sort of near, near shore fisheries are suffering. The fisheries that are collecting or catching fish that are feeding restaurants that are no longer in, in service are, are struggling economically. But on the flip side, the fact that the ocean is less accessible now because people aren't going out, they aren't doing the kind of um, enforcement activities, there is this concern that there is an increase of illegal, uh, underreported and unregulated fishing. So in the short term, we see economic impacts on the ocean. You might say, oh, this is not a bad thing. The, the fisheries might actually have a chance to recover. The pressures might be off in the short term. Um, similarly, tourism, that's a short term impact. We're not seeing as much travel, so we're maybe not seeing the same kind of um, impact of tourism on ecosystems, and that could be um, impacts on ecosystems, but it also means fewer people are experiencing the marine environment, and that could have impacts in the long term on how they're perceiving the importance of ocean conservation. Do you think this will have a long-term impact on the oceans, or in the larger picture, it's just a short-term blip? I think this will just be a blip, unfortunately, for the ocean. So we think about uh, ocean warming or ocean acidification because of increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere or um, lowering oxygen levels in the ocean. I'm not sure the coronavirus is going to really make a big impact on these really massive problems. Um, so again, the short term, we may see some changes. In the long term, I fear that we still have some of the same concerns about the ocean that we had before the coronavirus. Do you think the experience of this moment will make people think differently about oceans and their global importance? So in my primary field studying ocean plastics, I actually think we have seen a tremendous amount of global cooperation, uh, people working together across all economies to try to solve this problem of plastic waste and plastic in the ocean specifically. Whether or not the coronavirus distracts from that for a long enough period of time and it's such an acute problem uh, that either is or is not solved with global cooperation, I think will have a big impact on how we address some of these other larger problems like ocean health um, after the coronavirus. So, um, you know, right now the U.S. is kind of going at everything alone and that, that, can't, that can't work for these global problems. Um, that tone may change when we see what happens in the upcoming election. We'll see if the leadership of our country changes that conversation and brings us back into the global conversation. Because if we, if we don't do that, we're going to have a heck of a time getting past the coronavirus, let alone some of these other equally or more sort of existential threats as you look at longer timescales, things like climate change and ocean health. Any thoughts on how this moment, this experience has had an impact on those who work in this field? So I think everybody who's working on anything is distracted by the coronavirus. There's just, um, there's just no way you can put the full amount of effort towards your, well, for me speaking personally, I can't put the full amount of effort towards my work that I was prior to this pandemic, simply because there are many demands and many worries around immediate health. Um, but there's a very real impact on doing ocean science. So much of ocean science involves going on ships and going out to sea or doing field work on coastlines. And much of that field work has been uh, postponed for 
short or even indefinite amounts of time. What would you want the world to learn from having lived through this experience? Oh, I would like the world and the general public to have faith and trust in science. Uh, I really am discouraged right now at maybe the loss of, of, of that trust in making objective measurements and observations and using logic and reason to understand how the world is working, how the virus is spreading, how the oceans are being impacted, how human behavior has an, a huge impact on all of these things. And I, want, I would love for the world to see that if we trust in science and we act on that information in a rational way, that we can overcome these problems and we can do that collectively.